All right, guys, what is up here? 8.1 is upon us, and we are going to have the rate released here in, strictly speaking, 10 days. 10 days for the EU, 9 for the US people, those lucky sons of bastards. Uh, I don't know if that's technically a correct term. Doesn't matter. Anyway, what I want to show you today here, as some of you already have, might have noticed here, is the Azerite pieces for the assassination rogues here from the next raid here, because they are, mainly speaking, a bit too good to be true, uh, I would almost say. And, like, we're going to do a little gearing guide here, so what pieces you should go for and what you should look for here in the coming Battle of the Sailor here. So if you just go into the dungeon journal here on the raids, take this in here and take a look at the loot here. We can see here we have some different pieces, just, let's just set it to me for good measure. And, um, yeah, so you can see it's going to require quite a lot of um, artifact levels on your neck to, to get these traits here. But I'm sure we'll get here. So here, already on the first boss. Previously, uh, there has been some new sims here that suggest otherwise, but the main three traits we're going to look at are these three here. It's Double Dose, it is Nothing Personal, and it's Treacherous Covenant. These three here are the e big dogs for assassination like before it was these two here like with uh, nothing personal being the best and double those like right uh, beneath it. treacherous covenant is a little bit better now than these so it's treacherous covenant double those and nothing personal but it's i would say these sims here are within margin of error so either of these three here is what you want so um basically these here are on almost every piece. And as you can see already from the first bus, you have the dream headpiece for assassination rogues. You have the um, Shroud of Suffocation here for the Mythic Plus. If you want to do a lot of AOE, Shroud of Suffocation is really good for Mythic Plus because you can use it with the subterfuge and you can get free out of those and have and subterfuge gain more damage and it's just a whole lot of damage you suddenly get from that. And yeah, double dose, and so what you would take here from this here is likely double dose and treasure's covenant or nothing personal, depending on what trinkets if you have. If you have a two minute cooldown on use trinkets, nothing personal is likely going to be the better option since it stacks up so nicely. But yeah, personally, I would go with these two here. Uh, I'm still not sure about this here. It also adds a bit of um, downside. It's kind of a double edged sword. So nothing personal and. Uh, Double dose for the first boss here. That's already a hit piece. And the chest here. This chest here has double dose and uh, shroud suffocation. Again, if you want to go from this plus the the secondary trails is nothing to yell hooray for on this one here. So let's just skip right ahead on this one. And we have some shoulders here. Again, you you get to choose here. Double dose, nothing personal here on the first ring. Yes, please. And then you have the obvious choice of Trachina's Covenant on the last one. Yes, please. This is like, again, dream piece. So now we have a best and slot shoulders as well. Uh, and we are already <laughs> only at the third boss. Here, the headpiece here. I wouldn't uh, bother with this one here. Although Greed's Folly, Haste and Mastery is currently very good for assassination. So uh, my best bet would be Greed's Folly is the dagger to go for. Also looks very cool if you like the bling bling gold system. And the crown here, yeah, don't don't worry really about it here. It has shroud of suffocation, and that's that's about what's useful on this one. Um, twist the knife, send of blood, not really anything to go by. And then we have a chest from Conclave of the Chosen. And again, not the best unless it's for a AOE situation. Echoing blade. It's the AoE trait. I've seen a lot of people use this. Uh, I'm not sure how good this year is actually going to be when the patch comes out and the rig comes out itself. But again, try the suffocation. Yes, please. Mythic Plus chest right there. And from King Rastakhan, we have shoulders again. Like, some of these here are not that... Woo! But we had, like, a lot of good pieces early on in the raid, which means we are going to see a flying start for the assassination rogue. And a dagger, crit verse, again, depending on how your stats are, crit verse might be really good. It's a dagger, it's actually a huge dagger and looks really cool. 
I would personally like to have this for my transmog. But that's mainly transmog. I would still go with uh, Greed's Folly as my main dagger. On Mega Talk, we have an yet another golden piece. Again, both Treacherous Covenant, Double Toast, and nothing personal on the same piece. Like, this is why Assassination is gonna be kings. Like, it's gonna be so easy to get the best gear. Like, before here, it have, there's so many locks that are set with um, Shroud of Suffocation. That's fine, but it's, it's, it's not the best trade. You can get better trades, but you're gonna have to be lucky in Mythic Plus chests to get it. And now that we have the vendor, we have the vendor and we can gain some more from that. Um, but still, like, this here is perfect. And Stormwall Blockade, another headpiece. Again, nothing personal. Double dose, yes please. And uh, we have shoulders here for Jaina, from Jaina. Again, we have the Shroud of Suffocation here for the AoE situations, or Mythic Plus situations. And um, yeah, still, these here are not too much to yell hooray for, not super good traits for assassination at least. But still, we have the Shroud of Suffocation, and that's like nice enough to have. And so yeah, that's about it for the um, Azerite powers from the new raid. They are super nice and super easy to get, uh, especially because we have a lot of the really, really good pieces early on in the raid. and. Like, it seems to me overall, I can just by looking at these here see that they are thought of taking, like, many of the better traits and putting them into the raid pieces. So it won't be a, God, I need to get this, I need to get this item. I know people that have been farming the same pieces for the entire duration of Uldir and not gotten the piece they need. Um, so yeah, that's, personally, I think that's all our bullshit you should be able to get. Like decent pieces of gear and i hope it shouldn't be a lottery with the same chances of winning the grand prize in the euro jackpot win i don't know 100 million euros uh, in one go and never have to work for the rest of our life so you can sit inside and play world of warcraft every day i it shouldn't be like this but this year it looks like they're taking the step forward and saying okay here you go have it and as far as i know it has been confirmed that they are scrapping the um the azurite pieces for the coming raids and we're just going to have them in in 8.2 that is that we're just going to get the azurite pieces with all trades unlocked yes and then you can go and unlock azurite trades on your neck kind of like in a legion style way so um for me that is going to be it here um trinkets trinkets are mediocre yeah I, like this one here like one and a half minute cooldown for assassination mm, kind of a bit it's just like a click this two damage kind of like a grenade or something from the engineers and we have this area racer claw does a bit of bleed damage to the target we'll have to see uh, when uh, how the sims are looking and what trinkets are going to be best i'm not going to spend too much talking about trinkets uh this one here looks like it could be really good it also looks like it could be really bad and it looks like it's going to be super hard to like time it like when it is best but it's crit trinket so i think like this here could maybe have some more useful sub and yeah that's about it there's a few set pieces here that's not like a tier set but set pieces in the in the instance so maybe they could be worth going for i don't know but uh, we'll have to wait and see for that and yeah we'll make some more videos here if you guys would like on the other specs like sub and uh, outlaw if you want, I'll uh, read some more into it and uh, see what I can come up with for you. Because the traits here are looking really good for shop. Some of you may have seen the um, the first dance. That is just broken. Like, for your duration of of Shadow Dance. Here, have a 1200 haste. Stack that times three. Yes, you're gonna be a absolutely sewing machine. Just do 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 do. Hey guys, I hope you uh, liked and enjoyed that video. It was just a quick little thoughts of uh, what I think about the new Azerite pieces for Assassination Rogue and a little guide as to what you should be going for. Hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe. It's over there. Hopefully I'll see you again on the live stream or in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.